Hey guys, it's KTV here. This is an episode of not. It's kind of KTV creations and it's kind of KTV mods. And yes, I've got a bad sort of throwing moment right before Christmas. I'm working to get rid of it as quick as I can with salt water or whatever home remedy there is. I've done it, you know that. But anyway, we could call this KTV mods, KTV creations, because it was a creation, it was. but it's also a modification of something. So, what is this? A Philips clock radio, model number AJ3115. And does this look original? Does this look original? Does all this look original? No, it doesn't. So, what has happened to this? What inspired me to do it first? So this clock radio was very light. There was nothing inside it, pretty much, apart from the motherboard at the front to about there. So... This was all empty. There was a lot of room for spaces, but what? At the time, well now I still have it, my phone isn't charged and I lay my charger over downstairs or plugged in across the room. I'm in bed, I don't really get it. So I have a cable, but I don't have a plug. So that's where 12 volts DC comes in. We've added a phone charger, a car phone charger, and some of the system music in bed. 0.5 watt 8 ohm prime tone speaker, audio amplifier board, music via a 3.5 millimeter audio jack that you plug into your phone. So let's take a look at the unit. The side of it, there are two AA batteries. These are Long Life High Performance Ready Cell. They're for the audio amplifier board in this speaker. Time is working as normal, however, the clock radio speaker, where's that gone? I think this is a clock radio speaker. This is the audio speaker. This is where the amplifier works for your phone. This is louder, more bass. The little telephone speaker that you get in the answer phone machine is what comes out of, is where the radio comes from. So the radio isn't that, I'm not going to play too much, but the radio works through that little speaker. It's kind of loud. The alarm's loud enough to get you up in the morning, so it's fine. Two LEDs indicate power to the 12 volt circuit. So, 12 volts DC is coming in from the mains. That is indicating that the phone charge works. So, over here, you have a switch and you can charge your phone. And over here, you've also got another one which I don't really use because that one was in there before. This one, this switch is older and this one's newer. So, now I'll just turn it on off here, that switch, because it's a lot easier. So, yeah, we'll look at the top. There's a 0.5 watt rapid audio speaker in there. How did I make this, you might ask? Got a milkshake container, and I put the, I cut it, I got rid of it, printed out a design of the speaker grill, drawn it on there, drilled it up, and the speaker sits perfectly in there within the grooves, power-wise, so your, all the amplifiers powered by AA batteries and your battery backup is two AAA batteries which was, they're not original batteries but they were replaced once so yeah, AAA batteries for the battery backup that's boring stuff though wire has been rewired with 4 core wire because I'm using I've replaced power supply one of them is a Zony 5 volt power supply and the other one is a 12 volt net gear adapter 12 volts for the USB and 5 watts power with the clock module. So, yeah, obviously, it is a little bit thingy because there is a lot in there. So, for what it is, it works. I made it for about 10 quid, whereas normally you can buy it for about 30 quid. So, let's have a look. It's plugged in, the extension is plugged into that single socket down there, and the big black plug is for the 12 volts AC adapter. The plug on the end by the light, the PMS one, is to the clock. We have a junction box midway that connects this up. So, let's show you it charging the phone, shall we? So, you plug your phone in, you plug your USB charger in, make sure the red light's on at the side, get your phone, and it will begin to charge. So, that's all good. However, how does the audio sound, you may ask? Let me demonstrate to you the speaker. So to turn it on, you get an orange LED. 
and the alt sound. Plug this into your auxiliary device. Could work with phone, MP3, whatever. And let's just play some music on it. Okay, so that's a look at the pretty much 2018 because I've done this in 2018 and there was a speaker inside there but it was tinny but today I'll put that speaker in and I'll put a better power supply in recently so this clock is officially finished. So yeah, that's it. Also, I'll give you a shot of the old speaker that was in there. That was really tinny. You can see the damage on it. Okay, so that's it. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and bye guys.